Hey everyone, Katherine King here, your Independent Sensi Consultant, and today we have the Bring Back My Bars that will be launching January 1st. So, I have them all here, well, all 25. So, there's a little something different with the Bring Back My Bars this year. There's 25 that will come out January 1st. There is an additional 10 you can add to your Sensi Club as of January 1st. So I will go through those at the end. I have sniffed all these bars already. My coworker and I did it today. Uh, I will be doing a warm review of these as well. So it will be a busy January melting through some really fantastic scents. There are some that are just okay and some no words. So let's get started. I have them remotely organized. So we're just gonna go in alphabetical order, okay? So the first one coming back is Ambrosia. Ambrosia says the sweetest fruit salad ever, tropical pineapple, mandarin orange slices, juicy pears and ripe Concord grapes with hints of jam and fruit nectar. So this one to me smells just like fruit punch. So just a generic fruit punch scent. I, you know, it's not like I can pick out any one particular fruit. It is just a very beautifully done fruit punch. Um, if you want to bakery it up, you could always do that with a sugar cookie or something like that. If you don't do just straight up fruit, cause this is straight up fruit delicious. Next one, the one that started it all and one I have been very anxious to smell ever since um, I got into Scentsy, but it is one that is only in Bring Back My Bar. And of course I'm starting the yawning. Okay, already. So this was the one that Orville first showed to his wife when um, he had thought about doing this and Heidi fell in love with it. So this one is banana nut bread. So now I finally get to smell it and experience it. And you know me, I love a good banana. So this is right from the oven with ripe bana bananas, nuts and spices. So we brought back three banana scents. It's a little heavy in the banana in my opinion, but since I'm doing them in order, they will all be in order. So this one, you can smell the bread note in it. So this is more than just a banana. This also has a bread note, which brings us to the next one, which we saw in the spring collection, banana berry. And I'm honestly surprised this is back because I thought it was like supposed to be two years separation from when it's been um, out. So why they brought it back or, you know, for voting, I don't know, but it's back. To me, it's okay. Banana berry is luscious, sweet banana cream layered with succulent strawberry. So this one, you can smell the strawberry and it's a bit more on the runt side. Okay. So I have them all sitting open. It's funny. They're all this color too. Okay. The next one is banana Rama, sweet Oh, so some of mine came kind of broken and stuff. So it's no big deal. Um, I'm trying to get it open and couldn't figure out why it wasn't opening. Sweet, ripe, or sweet, golden, ripe bananas. And you know how I always like to pop out. Okay, so these are the three bananas right here. So. Banana bread, you can smell that bread and the nuts, okay? Because it has, I think it's, you know, well, how I think about it is it has walnuts in it. Because I think a lot of people put walnuts in their banana bread. I don't like nuts, so I don't put any nuts in my banana bread. So, so this, you can smell that nut in it. I don't smell any spices. It's just banana bread and nuts. Banana berry you get a sweet banana, um, a little bit on the runty side, and the strawberry. Then you move into Bananarama, 
and it's more just bananas. And it's, it is a definite Laffy Taffy runt candy banana. So those are the three bananas that came back, which is just bananas. It's been a day. Okay, next. We brought black back blue raspberry ice. I like how it's just a white wax with the blue packaging. I think that's beautiful. Sweet cherry, icy white lemon, and blue raspberry. So when my coworker and I were sniffing on this one today, it has like this bite to it. So I'm, I'm not sure I smell cherry in it because you know I don't like cherry. But maybe blue raspberry, but it has the, whatever, maybe it's this white or this icy white lemon gives it this tang, almost like a bite to it. Um, not like pucker level of like a lemonade or something like that. It is just this sharp something in this. And I, because of that, I'm anxious to melt that in and, and see what that scent comes out as. Cause I was like, woo, um, that has a little bit of like a sharp something in it. So it was interesting. Next one, Blue Rush. So a sweet surge of ripe, ripe blueberry leads, their descriptions, I swear, leads a luscious bouquet of lively cranberry, black currant, and pomegranate. So what I did is I just made a list. Okay, so you, to me, you smell blueberry, the really ripe blueberry, and cranberry. Maybe pomegranate, but this is not like blueberry. It's not just a pure straight up blueberry scent. Um, I'm now, hang on, I'm wondering what this smells like uh, with regards to blueberry cheesecake. And yes, I have my pajama bottoms on because like you know, I like to put on my pajamas. Okay, so I have a brick of blueberry cheesecake. So now I'm curious. Okay, blueberry cheesecake, you smell blueberry and you sm definitely smell that cheesecake note. Yes, okay, you definitely smell that, that milky, cheesecake note in the cheesecake and I already have mine scored. That's why it looks like that. Okay. So that one, you can definitely smell cheesecake. This one is just pure fruit. I don't, it says a luscious bouquet of lively cranberry. I think it's just meaning like cranberry. I'm hoping there's no floral in it. I'll be honest. I don't smell a floral, but okay. It is a, to me, a blueberry cranberry, maybe pomegranate mix. I don't know what black currant because I, I smell blackcurrant bubbly and I can't stand that one. So, sorry, Laura. I know you like that one. Okay, next one. Boho. Boho says a bohemian fragrance, which had me scared, um, of clove-studded winter apples entwined with juicy black plums, candied mulberries, and cinnamon sticks. This is just odd. Um... I'll be honest, maybe it's the mulberries I'm smelling. Maybe some of the black plums too, but this is definitely not like sweet plum pastry. It's it's different, um, but I'm wondering if it's maybe like the candied mulberries and the cinnamon sticks. So that one's different. It also came broken. I think it's just because of how it was in the box. So good thing I don't hang them up. Okay, so this next one. Oh my gosh. Bubble gum. There are no words. The true scent of baseball card bubble gum. Sugar and cotton candy with a hint of mint. And it's funny because I had another coworker smell this before I even told her what it was. I gave it to her like this and I said, you can't tell, you can't see the name, but you have to smell this. She's like, I smell mint. And I'm like, you smell mint? 
it's yes you smell that sugar that sugar that you get with bubble gum and you definitely get just that after scent of mint it's crazy 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 good this will go in my club this is i i would say in the list two or three that i can say are absolutely going in my club this going in my club and you know i have an obscene quantity of vendor wax but there's just no words it is so good it is sweet and oh i mean it seriously smells like bubble gum crazy amazing good okay so this next one i wasn't sure about casting spells okay a bewitching blend of apple drizzle i don't, didn't know you could drizzle apples but apple drizzle roasted pears and cinnamon bark and it it's funky i don't know if it's the cinnamon bark with the pear roasted pears but I don't, I don't know. I mean, I'm going to melt it, but that is funky. That's really weird. Okay. This next one, I believe this is Orville's favorite or favorite dessert or something like that. So cherry almond pie. What does almond smell like? Cherry. What does cherry smell like? Almond. Do I like any of those? No. And I don't like this scent. I'm sorry, I just don't. Um, this is, this vote, or this classic fragrance was voted back by Scentsy fans around the world during our most recent Bring Back the Bar scent. So I don't, I don't know what the scent notes are because that's all that I seem to capture when I copy this, but it's just, <laughs> it's just cherries and almond smell and, and I don't, I don't like it. I will melt it. I don't like it. Just like I didn't like the black cherry one, whatever one last season, last bring back my bar that smelled like cough syrup. Uh -uh. But this one, cherry limeade. And I know Laura today, I watched her video. She compared this one with cars and I don't think I have cars. And honestly, I really don't feel like going and digging back in there. Zesty key lime, sweet cherry and juicy berry, a delicious scent reminiscent of a soda fountain drink. So to me, okay, I can smell berry and I can smell key lime. And you know my fascination with key lime. <sighs> Club. Oh, it is so good. So bubble gum and this one are the two immediately going into my club, hands down. No ifs, ands, or buts. These are going in the club. So good. That key lime is so prominent in it. And it's one of my absolute favorite scents is key lime or any lime. Um, Spring had uh, whatever that lime was. Oh, it was so good. It's in my club. Next one. I was honestly surprised about this. Coconut cotton. I would never have guessed I'd like this. Sun warmed cotton creamy coconut milk, bright citrus, and white sandalwood transport you to a cabana on a tropical beach. And it does. It re, it just kind of gives me that feel that I got with uh, coconut daiquiri. <sighs> and coconut daiquiri is in my club. Oh, this is so good. It really makes you feel like you're sitting on the beach, sunny beach, not an Oregon beach. In Oregon beach, you're just freezing ass cold and you're bundled up in your jacket. So let's say Southern California beach, cause I'm a West coaster. So, and you're just sitting there in the sun, you put your suntan lotion on. It doesn't have the cocoa butter scent, but that coconut and stuff, that's the feel that I get with this scent. So I'm very excited to to warm that one. Okay, next stack. 
So I have them in stacks of four. This one, Grape Granita. So Grape Granita is sun-warmed grape and pineapple with undertones of honeysuckle. So when I smell this one, I just smell grape. This one has some really bad acne. <laughs> I don't know why some do that, but uh, to me, I wonder if they're poured too hot. But anyway, sun-warmed grape and pineapple with undertones of honeysuckle. I don't know what, honestly, I don't know what honeysuckle smells like, so it could be in there, but really, I just smell like a grape soda, like a grape Shasta. That's kind of the gist that I get with it, and I like it. I, I'm not sure it's club worthy, but I like it. Okay, so this, oh, I had him out of order. Okay, this one, Huckleberry and Clementine. Huckleberry preserves Clementine and a sprig of strawberry vine. This is nasty. Seriously, what it smells like, I don't know what Huckleberry smell like, I'll be honest, but it smells like you took your nose and you stuck it in a strawberry plant that didn't have strawberries on it, and you took a big old whiff of the plant. Because it says strawberry vine, and it, I'm serious, that's what it smells like, the plant. And it just has that green, bitter, almost like a bitter note to it. No, 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 no. I will warm it for the sake of warming, but no. This one I've been very excited for. This is the Huckleberry Sage. This is Lisa Roberry's first heartbreak, Sensi Heartbreak. And it says, like finding an une unexpected winter berry patch, tart ruby cranberries and sweet purple huckleberries dusted with sil uh, silver sage. Problem is, it's really light. I don't know if it's supposed to be like a heavy performer. You know, I'm not sure, but it's really light to me. It smells good, but it is a light scent. I figure I'm going to do my testing in here. Um, so that way I can get a good sense of the scent itself. Um, if I like the scent, then I'll probably order more, put it in my club and then try in the main area. But I want to get a, scent, a sense of the scent. And if I put that in the main area, I may not smell it enough to get an idea of if I'm going to like it or not. Next one, Mandarin Moon. Mandarin Moon is spirited cinnamon and glowing ginger illuminated by sweet orange and star anise. So star, well, anise is a, or anise, I've, I've heard it both ways, but, um, it's supposed to be like a black licorice, which I love black licorice. I think that's probably why I liked fairy tale um, pumpkin. I honestly really like this scent. It is okay. So it says it's cinnamon, ginger, sweet orange, and star anise, and it is not like just a sweet orange scent. It is complex because it's got those other things. It says spirited cinnamon and glowing ginger adjectives. I really don't smell the um, spices in this and that makes me happy because if they do come out on warm, then they're not likely to be too strong for me. But I happen to actually really like that scent. So I'm excited about that one. All right, this stack, Maui Mist. So, you'll understand. Creamy bouquet of rose, lilac, wood, and musk. Drizzled with creamy vanilla. Four things that will give me the worst headache. It is a beautiful scent but it is absolutely, hands down, 100% floral. 
I don't know if I'm going to be able to, to warm this one. I, it, I might just do a one cube warm and maybe give this to my friend Carrie, who, who did the last Bring Back My Bar um, scents with me. Because um, her favorite scent is Luna. So we'll see. But very, very floral. This one, I was honestly a little surprised. Midnight Fig. Hi, Pookie Bear. Earthy ripened figs and golden berries tempered by musky woods will open your eyes and captivate your senses. So it is definitely not my my cup of tea because you can absolutely smell that musky wood. Note is it does have that after scent of the wood. And it's not as sweet as I would hoped, but I think the golden berries, whatever the golden berries are in it, are helping give it um, a little bit of um, a little bit of of sweetness and stuff to because I don't find figs sweet at all. And I think we did a fig one last spring back my bar too, but it's not my my cup of tea. But it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. And those the musky woods, um, I think, is what is throwing it to possibly be a scent that might give me a headache but it is a pretty scent so it's like you know okay next one I have heard there's two scents in well, actually with Huckleberry Sage but there is two other scents that you hear non-stop within Scentsy that are sought after and loved <sighs> And the first one, Pink Haze. So I experienced Pink Haze in the Scentsy Pods. Those are the ones that go in the air, um, in the diffusers, fan diffusers. I thought it was nasty. I could not stand the scent. Um, it just smelled off. Um, cause let me tell you the notes. It says a sweet confection of berries, nectarines, vanilla laced whipped cream nestled in marshmallow fondant. So I know what fondant smells like. Um, doesn't smell like this. Most fondant smells like Play-Doh to be quite honest, but it tastes like it too. But I have a really good recipe. So I think it is a sweet scent. On cold, I don't like it. I'm really hoping I like it on warm. There is just something off on it. And it says vanilla laced whipped cream, but I'm wondering if it's vanilla lace. I do not like vanilla lace. So there is something off for me on cold, but I am hoping I really like it on warm. So pink haze. This one, oh my word. Actually, this one might be club worthy. When I um, smelled this, I was like, mm, yes. Actually, I might grab something over there. Okay, so this one, salted caramel cupcake. Creamy golden caramel with hints of cocoa and delicate pink sea salt crowns a buttery cupcake. And when I smelled it, the first thing I thought of was a, um, a salted caramel mixed with the scent oil cupcakes at Tiffany's. And I actually have, oh, that's wild at Tiffany's. Mm. I'm trying to see, okay. Sorry for my stretching out of, and I know this is a Scentsy video, but so Sassy Girl Aroma, I have a cupcakes at Tiffany's. And so when I smelled this scent at work today, I immediately thought of a salted caramel cupcake at Tiffany's. Hmm, it's, it's subtle, but I do think that it's very similar to that because it's fluffy vanilla cake and toffee and chocolate in cupcakes at Tiffany's. So, but this one was so delicious. You barely, to me, you barely get that hint of, of cocoa because I don't like um, 
co uh, chocolate in wax, but you get this beautiful creamy golden caramel, just like it said. It's This is delicious sweet very very sweet so if you're hesitant on sweet scents i would be careful with that one okay so the next one highly sought after shimmer so um i have shimmer in a body wash it's right there um this is get your girly on and i would hands down 100 percent agree get your girly on sweet cherries mm -mm velvety apricots and sensual white musk crowned with a tiara of shimmering spun sugar. They're so eloquent, aren't they? This is girly, very sweet. I don't, body care, body care, not perfume, but body care. Definitely a very, very sweet body care. Now I haven't opened um, my shimmer body wash because I still have like 20 Bath and Body Works to go. It is really pretty, very headache inducing. Um, could be the sensual white musk. I'm not sure. I don't know if there's a flower in there or something. Um, this will give me a headache. I will try it in limited quantities because um, it is a very beautiful scent. And I know why people vote that one back because it is beautiful. So the next one, plain, simply vanilla. So this is just the fragrance of warm vanilla. So I don't know if it um, is similar to the Bath and Body Works warm vanilla or what is that one? Warm vanilla. Anyway, it just, it's, to me, it's a basic vanilla. So if you're wanting, I think, to bakery something up, Simply Vanilla would be really good to, to put with it or to give something a sweetness, you could put in Simply Vanilla because that's it's just a basic vanilla scent. Okay, this one actually I really, really liked. Very strange. strange. Spiced Orange Harvest. Strong, sweet oranges spiced with cloves and cinnamon. And it's, it's lovely. I like it. Actually, I'm curious. Mandarin Moon. I didn't think about this earlier. Okay, so Mandarin Moon, spirited cinnamon and glowing ginger with sweet orange and star anise. And this one is strong sweet orange spice with cloves and cinnamon. Very similar, I'll be honest. This one's sweeter. The Spice Orange Harvest is sweeter. This, I think, is more complex. So anyway, they are very, very similar. Um, so you may not need both. But I actually really liked it. Um, it's not heavy on the spice, which you know for me is perfect. <laughs> Next one, another sought after. Oh, I guess so. I guess there's, there's three that are really talked about. This one, sugar. So sugar is a fruity blend of lemon drops and cotton candy. So I have not smelled sugar before. I don't smell lemon drops and it's funny, I'm getting a pink haze vibe to it, so. Hmm. To me, they smell similar. Okay, either that or my sniffer's getting broken by 25 cents. It smells good, but I don't smell lemon. Um, if someone's going to say there's a blend of lemon drops, I better be able to smell the bloody lemon drops. Just saying. Because you, you know how I love my lemon. All right. The last one. Thunderstorm. Really deep blue wax. This one will give me a headache. A very refreshing, sharp, spicy outdoor fragrance like um a breeze in a storm um green it's green you can smell something green in this laura said today she thought this was a dupe for a bathroom or a yankee candle so uh i don't know um i didn't really burn yankee so 
it's it's okay it is very very strong and it will absolutely 100 percent hands down give me a headache so all right so those are the 25 that are coming out on january 1st that you can order individually the ones that you have to put in your kit or in your um uh your sensi club My throat gets dry. Does your throat get dry when you're recording? First one, Aussie plum. Juicy plum, pink grapefruit, and tart. Oh, tart pomegranate with smooth vanilla. I thought that one sounded good. Um, there's only five that I'll be ordering out of the ten. So Bora Bora Blossom. Get lost in the balmy con combination of succulent island fruits. Uh, lush orchid balanced with a fresh... A kiss of fresh green violet leaf. Nope, that's going to be floral, so I can't do that one. Um, caramel pear crisp. Perfectly ripe pear and juicy nectarine blanketed in a brown sugar crust and topped with a dollop of warm caramel cream. I will do that one. Hendrix. Earthy patchouli, and I hate patchouli. Glowing sandalwood and bold pink pepper harmonized with sweet tobacco flower. I won't get that one. I'll leave that one for Casey. Casey, you order that one and let me know what you think. Next one I won't order. My home, uh, our spicy cinnamon and a floral scent. Says a must try. <coughs> Micah, my Mike, come here. I almost got through the video without a bark. Mike, come. Come, 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 come. We're almost done. So let's hurry up and get this in before she barks again. Oats and honey, I will be ordering. A buttery mix of toasted oats, tupelo honey, and oven crisp, oven crisp with vanilla and maple. So I'll get that one. Simply rose, just simply rose. I will not get that one. Southern e evening, I will not get. Um, like a trace of perfume lingering sweetly in her wake, this romantic twirl. A French lavender, geranium, subtle fruits, and white musk. Nope. Next one I'll get toffee butter crunch, salted caramel glazed candied walnuts, toffee, and vanilla bean. I don't really like nuts in scents, but I want to give that one a go. And then the last one I thought I, I'm, I'm not sure yet on. So if you have smelled this one, it's World Traveler. Blackberry, dark pomegranate, and oak bark inspire adventure. So it's the oak bark. I'm not sure on that one. So if you guys think that I should get that one, that you don't think it'll give me a headache, please let me know. Um, but those are the 35 Bring Back My Bars that come back January 1st. So let me know what you'll be picking up. I'll be very excited to hear what you're getting. Um... I will be melting one bar per day. Um, I'll probably have to do a couple of the headache inducing ones. I'll probably start them in the morning. So they're a little bit more tame by the time I get home. Um, but I'm excited to feel these out. I Usually I just kind of pick and choose and grab one. I am going to be obnoxious and I am going to do them in alphabetical order. Why not, right? It's my channel. So we're going to do them in alphabetical order. And then I'm going to keep this and I'm going to take notes on what I think, what I felt, um, you know, that, that kind of thing. So I'm very excited for the Bring Back My Bar season. Guess what also starts? In one month and a couple days starts the new catalog season. We find out, excuse me, we can order the transition kits January 1st. Oh my gosh. <sighs> so horrible it's not even late it's only 8 22 tim's already in bed so um anyway so january 1st i will be ordering the transition kit um excited to see the new changes and what's coming out for the spring and summer catalog which starts february 1st which is crazy i really think it should start march 1st but hey who am i to say considering we have snow every single day next week, which is really unheard of for Oregon. So, especially in December, but I'm very excited for this season. I think what I'm most excited about, honestly, is getting into some of these less uh, spice heavy scents 
to kind of transition because I, you know, when I'm looking at them, some of them definite summer. Um, I would think cherry limeade is summer. I would think um, sugar summer. I would think pink hay summer, Maui mist summer, bubble gum. I don't know. I could definitely do that one all year. Um, banana bear, all the bananas, except for banana nut bread. I think that could be an all year, but you know, the other two bananas summer, but there's not that heavy spice that we've been getting in the fall scents. I mean, we get a little bit of it in these two orange scents, but I'm excited to start transitioning in, out of the spice heavy scents and into the more fruity scents. And obviously, you know, I love bakery. So um, I will be starting with ambrosia, which to me is a summer scent, it's fruit punch. Um, but I am excited and I will do my warm review on these so that you guys still have plenty of time. <sighs> it's from talking. I do it when I talk on the phone too. It's the craziest thing. Anyway, so that you guys still have time to watch my review and um, take it with a grain of salt and decide whether or not you want to um, get that scent or if you want to put it in your club. So anyway, it's what I got for you today. A uh, little longer video, but we knew that would be with talking about 25 different wonderful scents coming back in Bring Back My Bar. So I'll catch you in the next video, guys. Bye.